Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the anode on your suburban hot water heater. Alright, what the heck is an anode rod and why should you think about replacing one? Um, so think about this rod as a sacrificial lamb to your suburban hot water system. This rod goes inside the hot water system and its whole purpose is to corrode before your tank corrodes. Um, so this is made of uh, magnesium or aluminium, this is a magnesium rod. And basically magnesium and aluminium are less noble metals than the steel that uh, your tank's made of. So as corrosion takes place, we're heating up water and the minerals and all that sort of thing, this rod will corrode and wear down before your tank wears down basically. Now how quickly this rod wears down all depends on how often you use uh, your hot water system. If you are in your RV full time or just weekends and also the water. Um, obviously different water and water sources, different fresh waters have different contents and minerals and some of those minerals will corrode this sort of thing faster than others. So depending on where you get your water from as well. Manufacturers recommend that you check and replace these rods once a year. All right, let's look at what we need to get the old one out and get this new one in. All right, so first things first, we're gonna need a new anode rod, aren't we? Um, these sort of range online for anywhere from um, 35 to about $50 was the most expensive one I saw. Uh, this one I bought from RV Mega, it's a Kamek branded one and it was $35. Uh, what I like about the Kamek branded one is that the thread at the end comes pre-Teflon taped. Um, so you don't have to buy additional Teflon tape, which is nice. You're also going to need a ratchet handle, a little socket extension bar thing, and a 27mm socket, or 1 and 1 16th of an inch. Now if you don't buy an anode that is pre-taped, that comes pre-taped with that Teflon tape, then you're going to need a small roll of Teflon tape as well. Okay, before we begin, really important, turn your hot water system off and make sure that tank is cooled down sufficiently. Turn your pump off, uh, turn the power off or disconnect the power from your RV just to be safe um, because these units also run on 240 or 120 volts depending on where you are in the world. Relieve the pressure. Um, this is quite important before we go to unscrew that. Relieve the pressure by lifting the small handle here inside the hot water unit. Um, that's going to relieve any pressure. You can also do this by uh, turning on a hot tap inside the RV. That'll also relieve the pressure. If you don't relieve that pressure, uh, I imagine it looks a little something like this. <laughs> All right, replacing it super straightforward. The anode is located at the bottom of your suburban hot water system. Um, pop your socket on, your 27mm socket, loosen it off, slide the old anode out. Don't be worried, but there will be a bit of water that comes out of there that's the excess water in your tank. Slide the new anode in and tighten it up and you are good to go. Well there you have it, nice simple little DIY project, but a pretty necessary one. Now if you're like me and you've waited a whole year to check your anode, please go out to your RV and do so and just see. I see some terrible pictures of these like worn right through the metal and obviously you don't want your actual hot water system tank to start corroding, right? Um, so yeah, go and check those. If you've got any questions about the process or you're a bit stuck or anything like that, then fire them away in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply and help you out. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to follow us on our adventures, uh, we are a family of five. Uh, my wife Chelsea and I and our three kids, we move, we're about, we're just in the process right now actually of moving into our caravan and we're taking a year long adventure around New Zealand. So probably by this time you see this video, we'll be deep in the South Island somewhere. Um, so yeah, we do sort of travel style videos, um, DIY projects, and also reviews of RV related products. So if you want to come along for the adventure, whack that subscribe button, and I'll see you in a few days in the next video. Thanks for watching.